Welcome to Boot Spy. My name's William. Today, we got ourselves a Mock Toe Massacre, a full Battle Royale. It is the Red Wing Classic Mock versus the Thursday Diplomat versus the Thoroughgood Mock Toe versus the Danner Bull Run. Let's get into it. Guys, thank you so much for joining me. As I said, today we're comparing four of the most popular mock toe boots against one another. That is the Red Wing Classic Mock, the Thursday Diplomat, the Thoroughgood Mock Toe, and the Danner Bull Run. So I've run some pretty cool scientific tests on all four of these boots. I'm gonna mix that in with some of the subjective things like style and discuss how these boots stack up against each other so you can figure out which one is worth your hard earned money. Kick it off, I'm gonna introduce all of these boots one by one, let's do this really quickly. First off, we have the Red Wing Classic Mach. This is in the Slate Mule Skinner, but the most popular version is the 875 Oro Legacy Leather. This has a 360 degree Goodyear welt, has Puritan triple stitching along the upper, and then the insole and midsole are entirely made with leather and cork. Next up, we have the Thursday Diplomat. This also has a 360 degree Goodyear welt. It has a Vibram Christie outsole. It has a poron insole with cork in the midsole as well as a steel shank at the bottom. Here we have the Thoroughgood Mock Toe. First of all, it's got this tiny nylon American flag. It has a 360 degree split storm welt, so it's a little bit more weather resistant than your standard Goodyear welt. Uh, and we have three speed hooks, which is a little bit unique. We have a max wear wedge sole, which is custom, only Thoroughgoods have this. And then again, we have synthetic insole and midsole materials in there, and it has a fiberglass shank which cuts down a little bit on weight. Last up, you got yourself the Danner Bull Run. This has a hand-stitched upper. This is a little unique compared to the other boots. It has a stitch-down construction, which offers a little bit more weather resistance, but if this part ever wears out along this edge, like if the leather wears down, then you can't really end up resoling it, but most of the time you can, and that's kind of a rare part to, to break. Uh, and then it has a custom Danner outsole right here, ortholite insole, again, synthetic uh, fiberboard in the midsole, and what a, it's got a steel shank. Now, I actually went ahead and weighed all these boots side by side, just curious which one's the heaviest, which one's the lightest. The Thoroughgood was the heaviest. It weighed in at 847 grams per boot. The Thursday and Red Wing, surprisingly enough, were exactly the same weight per boot at 777 grams. And then the Danner Bull Run was 702 grams, so that was the lightest. Now, the weight itself doesn't actually tell you anything about the quality of the boot, but it does speak to the different way these have been constructed. And so when I start to break into like leather thickness and how some of these boots have been constructed, well then that weight is actually gonna start telling a little bit of a story, so stick around for that. Here at Boots Buy, we like the fashion aspect of boots, so we're gonna kick it off by comparing the styles of these boots. The footbed of the Red Wing Classic Mach and the Thursday Diplomat are actually the same width, so that the width of the sole is not any different. But as you can see, there's a massive difference between the height of these boots. Now, the Red Wing is also as tall as the Danner. They have the same profile in the toe. Uh, although the Danner is much more chunky along the instep, it's basically the same height all the way across. Whereas if you look at the Red Wing Classic Mach, it kind of curves up at the toe. So the Danner's a little bit chunkier, but they're both just as tall as one another. And then you have the Thoroughgood, which kind of like the Danner, pretty chunky. Uh, definitely looks a lot more like a work boot, kind of like the Danner Bull Run. Uh, but also it's a little bit shorter. It's about a half, uh, it's about a centimeter shorter in the toe than the Red Wing Classic Mach. My favorite one for style between all of these is the Thursday Diplomat, and I like it because it's a smaller profile, it's very narrow through the foot, and it just looks better with a slim pair of jeans. That said, the Red Wing Classic Mach has more of a classic aesthetic, that workwear aesthetic, so if you wear something with like a, a straight cut jean or anything like that, it's gonna probably look a lot better with the Red Wing Classic Mach than the Thursday Diplomat, just because it has a taller, more like, traditionally masculine size to it. So if you're looking for a classic mock toe look, well then the Red Wing Classic Mock to me has definitely the best style. It's still pretty, uh, not, not necessarily slim, but it's a lot more tapered in the middle, uh, a lot more contoured to your foot. 
Whereas you get into the Thoroughgood and the Danner Bull Run, and these are just like big old bricks that you put on your feet. The cool looking, uh, if you're you know like construction worker and stuff like that. But uh, but in terms of like pure fashion, pure style, uh, I'm definitely going to give the points to the Thursday Diplomat or the Red Wing Mock Toe. Now we're going to discuss the leather quality, and that's where things get pretty interesting. I went ahead and measured all the thicknesses of the different leathers that we have in all these boots. The Red Wing Classic Mock had a leather thickness of 2.3 millimeters. When I measured the Thursday Diplomat, it has a full leather thickness of three millimeters, but it also features a liner in there. So the outer leather is more like two and a half or two millimeters thick, whereas the liner is a millimeter thick, but you still have three millimeters of leather between your foot and the outside world. The Thoroughgood Mokto has two millimeters of leather thickness, and then the Danner has the thinnest leather at 1.5 millimeters. In terms of how the leather feels and ages, the Red Wing is definitely the winner in this category. They have some really excellent leathers. I have mine in the Slate Mule Skinner, and I'm a huge fan of this leather. The Thursday Diplomat objectively has the thickest or the most amount of leather in this boot, and uh, it does take a little while to break in because you have that liner and it's a little bit stiffer, but that's gonna help the longevity with that three millimeters of leather in there, so that's also a pretty big benefit. When I look at the Thoroughgood Mock Toe, you know, two millimeters, that's pretty standard, so that's not like a pro or a con or anything like that. That's a pretty standard leather thickness. I think two millimeters is enough to hold up to if you're working in a shop or, um, you know, anything where it's pretty tough work. The Thoroughgoods, and you look at all the reviews and stuff like that, people will say that these boots, this leather thickness, can really hold up to and, and take a pretty good beating. There's only one boot that actually really surprised me in the leather category, and that was the Danner Bull Run with 1.5 millimeters of leather thickness for a work boot, considering the fact that the Thoroughgood, the Danner, they're pretty much the same price. Thoroughgood's $20 more, but getting a whole half millimeter, you know, I think was that like 33% uh, thicker leather in the Thoroughgood compared to the Danner. Well, that was a little bit surprising, and so that makes Danner the clear loser in the leather category. As far as a winner goes, I'm gonna have to give it to the Red Wing Classic Mock. Again, this leather is just higher quality. It's quite thick at 2.3 millimeters. And then the runner up in that category is going to be the Thursday Diplomat. So they're gonna get a half point. Red Wing gets a full point. Next up, we're gonna talk about the sole of these four boots. Now, in an attempt to make an objective assessment, I created a little bit of a test where I put some oil on some concrete and I used a force gauge pull to basically pull on the boot, put a 25 pound weight on it, pull it across and see how many pounds of pressure it takes to move the boot when it is placed on concrete on oil. Now across these tests, the Red Wing with its custom crepe sole took 14 pounds of pressure to move across the oily surface. The Thursday Diplomat with the Vibram Christie outsole, that took also 14 pounds of pressure to move across the oily concrete. The Thoroughgood Mock Toe with their own Max Wear wedge sole, their own custom, that took 15 pounds of weight uh, to move across the oily concrete. And then the Danner with their own custom wedge sole that took 13 pounds of pressure to move across oily concrete. Comparing the slip resistance across all these different boots, Thoroughgood performed the best, Danner performed the worst, and then Red Wing and Thursday performed the same. Of course, you're not always gonna be walking on oily cement. That's a pretty rare thing. So that's just a more extreme sort of event. Looking at the insoles of these things, that's where you're really gonna, some, some choices need to be made. The Red Wing, the classic mock, that is all leather and cork, so those are pure natural materials. Now, that doesn't have, it has probably the worst shock absorption of any of these boots because it's all natural, but it also has the most longevity. The Thursday Diplomat has a pour on insole, helps a little with a little bit of breathability, they don't stink, and then it also still has a cork midsole and a steel shank in it. So you're getting a good mix of shock absorption, comfort, and then you still have some longevity and a little bit of where it's gonna break into your foot and really mold to the shape of your foot. Now both the Thoroughgood and the Danner have these synthetic removable outsoles, which I think is pretty cool, especially for a work boot, because if you wanna add your own custom insoles, you have that option with Thoroughgood and with Danner, and you don't have that option on Red Wing or with the Thursdays. That said, the midsoles on the Thoroughgood and the Danner, those are both made with synthetic materials, like fiberboard, and that tends to break down quicker, and it just doesn't have the same longevity as the midsoles you're gonna find in the Thursday or the Red Wing. When it comes to overall sole quality, I'm not really gonna pick a winner here because there's different case uses, there are different uses for different things. Now, I think the Thoroughgood, between the Thoroughgood and Danner, the Thoroughgood is definitely better. It has more slip resistance with oil, and then basically the midsole and the, uh, the insole are exactly the same, so you're getting a lot of shock absorption for both of those, but the Thoroughgood just performs better, has more slip resistance. So in a working condition, I would definitely pick the Thoroughgood over Danner. And if you want more longevity, then you're comparing the Red Wing to the Thursday. And of course the Red Wing is gonna last longer because it has that leather insole. 
So that's just gonna last longer than the pour-on insole of the Thursday Diplomat, but at the same time, the Thursday feels almost like wearing a sneaker, whereas, you know, people, it like feels like you're standing on a piece of wood for the first couple days when you're in your Red Wings. So you kind of sacrifice some of that shock absorption. It could be worth getting the Thursday Diplomat if you stand on your feet for long periods of time and maybe you have bad knees or something like that. Uh, having that more shock absorption in the Thursday Diplomat helps a lot, but the Red Wing of all these boots, that insole is gonna last the longest. Here's the final verdict. I'm gonna rank these from least favorite to most favorite, and if you guys wanna do the same in the comments below, go ahead and do that. Uh, you can pause the video, do that now, or you can wait for mine as well. So my least favorite of these boots is the Danner Bull Run with 1.5 millimeter thick leather. The fact that it performed the worst in terms of uh, slip resistance on that oil concrete test. Basically, you know, to me, if I'm getting a work boot, it needs to have really sturdy leather, it needs to be slip resistant, and the Danner Bull Run just doesn't really offer that. Now there is a flip side to this, and if you're working in the summer, I think some of those things actually become, well not the oils, the slip resistance, but the thinner leather, a little bit more breathability, the synthetic materials on the insole and midsole, that actually makes the boot more breathable. So this would definitely be if you're getting ready for summer and you're gonna work out a long summer out in construction and you don't wanna spend too much on a boot like a Red Wing or something like that, well then the Danner Bull Run's actually a pretty good choice because it's gonna be more breathable than the Thoroughgood Mock Toe. My third pick is the Thoroughgood Mock Toe. Now, this is definitely a construction boot. This is like a work boot, and this is not the kind of work that I do. This is the kind of work that I do, so I don't necessarily need a heavy-duty work boot at all. Um, that said, if I was gonna pick a work boot, I would definitely pick the Thoroughgood over the, over the Red Wing because uh, you know it has thick enough leather, it's pretty inexpensive, it's 220 bucks, whereas the Red Wing Classic Mock is 280 bucks. So it's a good amount cheaper, it's got the triple stitching, uh, the sole performed really well on that oil test, and then, you know, it's basically got everything, it's got a padded collar right here, it's got a sp storm, uh, split storm Goodyear welt, mm, that's hard to get out, which has a ton of water resistance, and that's gonna be recraftable if you ever want to. Basically, it's a pretty beefy boot. It offers a lot of protection. You can get a, uh, you can get a steel toe, you can get composite toe, you can get an eight inch version. There's tons of different styles of the Thoroughgood Mock Toe. So I'm gonna say this is definitely, of all the Mock Toes, this is the best work Mock Toe. And lastly, because I have trouble with confrontation, I'm giving two number one points for the Red Wing Classic Mock and Thursday Diplomat. Now, these are two totally different boots, uh, and I wear them on different occasions. The Thursday is my number one pick for style. And I like this because, again, it is slimmer, it is sleeker, it fits better with a pair of slim jeans. And so I actually end up wearing the Thursday Diplomat more than I wear any of these other mock toes. I'm really excited to wear it throughout this fall and winter. Um, I love that it has three millimeters of leather there that keeps it warm, so it's a good winter boot as well. So this is definitely my pick for style, the Thursday Diplomat. Now, I couldn't put the Red Wing mock toe at number two though, because it's just got such good quality leather. I like that they keep the uh, instep tapered. I like they keep, you know, everything is very contoured. The triple stitching, it's very stylized. It's a super classic boot. I, that's, the profile is just bigger than I prefer, you know, and, and, but if for guys who wear straight cut jeans or anything with any sort of uh, extra fabric down towards the ankle, well then this is just a better looking boot in those scenarios compared to the Thursday Diplomat. So, a lot of guys don't have the same style as me, so you know I couldn't I couldn't dock points for something subjective like that. But for all intents and purposes, these guys are, are are extremely similar. They both performed exactly the same on the oil slip test. They both had very uh, thick leather, you know, 2.3 millimeters. And this is probably about 2.3 millimeters on the outside with a um, you know 0.7 millimeter, maybe a one millimeter liner. So. Leather thickness is about the same, and then they both weighed the same. Again, let me know how you would order these boots from best to worst. Which ones would you get first? Let me know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up and also hit the subscribe button down below. I have new videos coming out every single week all about boots. If you wanna see any of the reviews I've done on these boots, you can check out these videos popping up right now. And until next time, put your best boot forward.